Uh, yeah. Greetings. Yeah. This is an LGR blurb about <laughs> this cover art mainly. Um, apparently painted or something by John Clark. I, I don't know what the story is behind this cover. It's amazing. Uh, I've seen it on eBay a couple different times now, and I finally saw one of these come up for sale for a decent price uh, in Portugal. So I imported it. It finally showed up. This is Adventures in Heaven 2, Power Games for DOS and Windows, MSB Heaven CD-ROMs. It's just a shareware compilation, probably. No installation required. Just type CD menu. But man, everything about it confuses me. Uh, other than what it is, I guess. Most significant bits, Adventures in Heaven 2 CD-ROM. This disc contains the best and most up-to-date collection of games for DOS and Windows assembled on CD-ROM. Okay, fine. A uh, new and improved multimedia interface for DOS and Windows, full mouse support, and sound effects. So, I mean, it's really talking up just its interface alone, plus games. I mean, it says uh, it's got Smash Hits, Electro Man from Epic Mega Games, and Doom from Apogee, which, uh, no. Doom was at one point going to be released through Apogee, but did not, it never happened. <laughs> it was just id Software went off and did it on their own, but anyway wonderfully confusing in every possible way. And I love how the categories, Apogee is a category, Epic is not, apparently, I don't know, maybe it is and it just doesn't show it. Sound Blaster support is a category. Unprotects is a category. There's just no telling what this could be. Look, it's red on this side. It's got black text on that side. Ah, let's just open it up. Like I said, this has just been taunting me for years on eBay, so. I knew I had to get it eventually. What does this CD look like? Oh, rather underwhelming considering all of the excellence going on externally. <laughs> Adventures in Heaven 2, most significant bits. Okay, so here we go. Uh, Lakewood, Ohio apparently is where they were based. Again, I imported this from Portugal. Don't, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> no manual, just a little jewel case insert going over how to install it. And looks like some disclaimers saying that, yeah, to the best of our knowledge, uh-huh, the programs and demos included on the disc are public domain or shareware. Right. Maybe it's actually true on this one. And there's this little insert here for uh, a registration card. You don't see that very often for these random shareware shovelware collections. My goodness, significant bits, CD-ROM discs. I gotta, I, I wanna find out more about this company. Apparently there's a catalog. Anyway, we're gonna install this and see what it's like. I mean, come on now, this has to be amazing. Wow, look at that. It's actually a cool looking CD in the back. Anyway, Adventures in Heaven 2. <laughs> that guy's neck. All right, got the wood grain 46 going, the CD in the drive. Windows file manager, look at all my CD drives. Crazy CD changer. All right, we've got a bunch of files. So it said to just run cdmenu.bat, but I also see an installer. DLL, VBX, oh yeah, all the classic stuff you probably need for a lot of these. Let's see what's in here. Okay. Well, this is good. It at least separates things uh, by OS. So you have DOS and Windows. Elf tree in its own thing here. <laughs> okay. Same with this one. Hmm. I'm assuming this is like the menu system stuff. Uh, but yeah, it is at least... Oh, good. And things are also separated into their own folders that are actually representing what they are instead of... Uh, <laughs> like that expert software when we took a look at the Ultimate Game Collection where everything was just a, a bunch of numbers for the folders. That's super annoying when these compilations do that. I guess let's just run the thing it said to run. <laughs> oh, they... they they stuck to the artwork. Oh, mouse driver not found. 
Well, this is clearly a DOS thing, so I guess it's just not detecting it under Windows here. But man, this is honestly an impressive menu system, considering. Probably have to come back and run this under DOS. The installation. Okay, so this is the Windows stuff, I guess. Hmm. Creates a program manager group called Heaven CDs. With a possessive there. If it doesn't already exist, add this CD to Heaven CDs. Program group. Oh, and it copies the library and control files, those. Yeah, those things we saw there to the Windows system directory. That's handy. Ah! <laughs> Somehow the icon is also amazing. They were on their game putting this together. Look at that. Look at that Frankenstein's monster looking thing. It just has, it just has Adventures in Heaven, not two. There is a one <laughs> uh, with not nearly as good artwork. Let's see if this just opens the DOS thing. I'm assuming it's the same CD menu program. No, this is different. Awesome. Huh. Well, look at this. Did it say to do that? Oh, yeah, yeah. If you wish to install programming modules required to one. Oh, okay. So run CD menu if you're running DOS games. Run this if you want to run Windows stuff. So these are the Windows. Wow. The Windows things that it offers, and they're separate, which is awesome. This is honestly way better put together than I thought it would be. A lot of these brag about having good stuff, but look at this. It doesn't maximize, but whatever. It's got Jewel Thief. That, that's all I care about. Uh, Wind Detective, Wind Way Out. Most of these I don't recognize. That's kind of uh, exciting. Of course, a classic Star Trek thing. Gold Hunt. I wonder what that is. And of course, Castle of the Winds. Because <laughs> of course. There is so much stuff on here. So, are these all Windows things? Like air traffic controller, that's kind of a classic DOS thing. But it's got VBX stuff. How do I do these? I double clicked it, I don't know if that, okay, nope, nope, this is a Windows, it's a Windows thing. Some uh, like nice stock imagery back there. Huh. Yeah, because I'm, I'm definitely more familiar with, like, the DOS air traffic controllers. <laughs> there are multiple. Uh, we're not going to play it because it's not fun, but there you go. Wow. So I guess this is, yeah, they said we got Blitzer. <laughs> the tried and true, the always here. If you got a Windows, you know, shareware, shovelware compilation, here it is. Always got Blitzer. With all his... All it's total jank. <laughs> oh, this game. The weird memories involved. It's not a good game. All right. Brats for Windows. What is this? Arcade series. A fun game for the kids. Brats are many crying babies that just won't stop crying. <laughs> You're armed with the most powerful milk bottle formula on this planet. I mean, we gotta play that. Let's play a new game. Oh, dear. What are we doing? This is Whack-A-Mole for babies? Whack-A-Baby? That sounds wrong. Uh, it appears to be. $5.52 registration fee. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. Let's uh, go full speed. Let's see what that does. And all the brats. Oh dear. Oh, that's that's rough. Ah! Ah! Whoops. <laughs> Vaguely Rugrats inspired art there. It kind of looked like. Uh... Anyway, yeah. What in the heck? Hey, you got Herman and the Frocks? Dude, classic. Oh, divide by zero. Well. Okay. <laughs> I just didn't like that for a second. That's. That's just what that is. And I'm noticing uh, I forgot to plug the sound back in because I was reviewing this the other week uh, and haven't used it since then, so I need to plug the sound in. Not that Frox has any sound, but um, now let's load a maze. And a PC speaker. Anyway, it's just Boulder Dash. 
terrifying sounds. Herman is now dead. Yeah, I did a video on this years ago. Uh, yeah, well, let me plug in the... Oh, dude, Slam! I love this game. Plug in this out real quick. <laughs> oh, man. I heard sounds. Because, yeah, this menu is supposed to have sound effects, too. They're bragging about it. I believe I actually do have a cereal for this, but I don't remember. Uh, yeah, Slam. This is a really... I've always enjoyed this. It's just air hockey, but... Okay, there's no sound. I need the sound. The sound is cool. Meh. Uh, but yeah, you can like, um, you can change the viewing angle. Look at that. You got like this 3D-ish thing going on. I don't know. I've always been quite impressed with Slam. I usually play it 25 degrees. And you can change all the colors of the table, like monochrome. Uh, I believe you can completely customize the table if you register it. You got opponent options. Anyway. <laughs> ah. Wow, I'm awful today. That's just how it goes. Anyway, that's Slam. Uh, I love this game, honestly. Oh. There we go. I knew there was some way to do it. So, if we want to make it like kind of classic air hockey table looking thing. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. Anyway, this is really cool, man. I, I, I like this. <laughs> this is a great little compilation, despite or because of, even more so, uh, the cover art. Dang. If there is some download for this, I'll put it in the video description if it's on archive.org. And if it's not on there, I will add it because this is worth it. Do I know you? What? What was that? Do I know you? Oh, why is it talking to me? Oh, dear. Leave me alone. Oh, no. We have a snarky menu system. You hearing this? Leave me alone. Everything makes a sound. How delightfully 90s. Ah, this is brilliant. <laughs> ah, this is, this is awesome. Okay, so that's the menu system for Windows. Uh, let's go into DOS and run the uh, DOS CD menu, I believe, right? Oh, okay. Spectacular. Um, I still don't have a mouse. I didn't turn the mouse driver on, did I? I did not. Let's get out Y'all come back now. Somebody needs to sample that. That sounds fantastic. Okay. Oops. What? It apparently switched directories, so that is the menu system folder there. Uh, Yeah, you even got the sounds in the DAWs menus, man. And again, they're holding to that artwork, and I respect them for it. Okay, the mouse isn't quite showing up, right? Or maybe it is, and they just they just went with a a black box for a mouse cursor. Hmm. I'm going to assume that is a bug. So here we go. Look at this. Amusingly, <laughs> the Apogee category is an id software logo, which is appropriate-ish. For some of these, ha Halloween, Harry, Halloween. Hmm. They didn't put Doom in here, even though the back says uh, it's got Doom from Apogee. <laughs> Doom is under Adventure. Last just chilly. Oh dear. Uh oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, uh, Scunny. Yeah, what do you got, Scunny? Yeah, there's a, there's a heavy number of uh, typos. Dealy, dealy warning. Right. Um. Okay, I'm gonna try to launch it. Huh. All right. We have a refresh rate change. 
Or maybe we did earlier and I didn't notice, and if that's the case, I apologize. <laughs> Yeah, it's Scunny. Let's save some pizzas. I haven't played this in a long time. Not long enough. <laughs> uh, okay. That was not the jump button. There it is. Oh, up, up, up. Oh, 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 oh. Well, that's that. Let's see. Yeah, I thought there was supposed to be we get we get sound blaster, put music on too. Uh, hard. No. Instructions are spaces, jump arrows, move, alt is drop bombs. I, mean, I thought I was pressing alt, but well, I suppose not. Dang it! No, I don't need another story. I don't, I don't care. Daggum squirrel pizzas. All right, here we go. Huh. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't apply the sounds. How bothersome. Huh. Uh. That's what I thought. <laughs> I forgot how annoying this is to play. I knew it wasn't good, but holy crap. Oh, this is terrible. And the Sound Blaster sound isn't even working. Probably because it's trying to run it straight off the CD and it's not able to write anything, I'm assuming, in terms of configuration stuff. All right. Ah, this is so cool, though. Like, overall. All right, let's see what else is in here. We got uh, Christmas Lemmings, CD Man, Bip Bop 2, Balloon Challenge, these are all heavy hitters, as far as I'm concerned. Good old Electro Man, or Electro Body, as it's listed there. Man, there's a bunch of good stuff in here, in terms of shareware. Uh, Dude, Mutant Space Bats of Doom is on here. Paratrooper Bob? What the heck is that? I guess that's a solo software game I'm not familiar with. Yeah, um, MSBOD is something I actually want to do a video on. I've been wanting to do a video on it for, like, since before LGR, honestly. Uh, it, I've got an interesting kind of story, uh, sort of, surrounding that one. Scud Attack, dude. And uh, I recently actually found a registered copy of Mutant Space Bats of Doom, which is something I've been searching. It's like a holy grail of holy grails for me. So, uh, you know. Well, I guess this is not going to let me do <laughs> the mouse. Yep. That's a thing. Yeah, I had to restart there. Uh, and sorry, it keeps going back and forth between the refresh rates. This is 60, and most all the games are going to be at 70, because DOS. So, <laughs> if I forget, uh, my apologies. Anyway, so this is the classic board game selection. That's kind of annoying whenever you click the, uh, just somewhere in the scroll bar there, just... Okay. It just goes down one by one by one, like, I'm gonna click here, and then tick, 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 instead of just moving the whole thing. Honestly, that's like my only complaint about this menu system so far, because otherwise... With sound effects like that, how can you complain, right? I mean, good grief. An intriguing selection of just demos. Huh. Well, that's different. Let's go with fish. Yes, fish. <laughs> Swimming all over your monitor. Can we view these like the file ID that is? Yes, we can. Look at that, man. Again, they thought of everything. This is genuinely good, and I'm not being facetious at all. <laughs> Okay, that is made for a slower CPU. Try the turbo. <laughs> yeah, even slower than that, apparently. Well, fish. 
Oh, how I wish there was a button on my camera to quickly go between two distinctly different refresh rates, but gotta scroll through. And somebody's texting me. Shut up. Go away. I ain't talking to no one right now. All right, let's see what we got. Education. So we got Animal Quest. That's all you need. Jurassic Spelling. Whoa. Uh, game, what is this? Oh yeah, this is the unprotects, hints slash unprotects. So I'm assuming, yeah, what do they mean by unprotects exactly? <laughs> I was gonna say, it, it almost seems like uh, ways to get around things. Yeah, like this. <laughs> Defeats document checks on hundreds of games, safe and easy to use, even for novices. All unlocks have been carefully tested. So, like, <laughs> getting around copy protection? That's what. That's the only thing that came to mind when I, you know, read unprotects on the back of the CD. This is a purely informational display of the games that can be unlocked when you purchase the full Universal Neverlock. This is not a list of games supported. Then what is this? It's is just. It's a hypothetically. <laughs> You can get around these. That's inter This is like a cracking thing, right? That, you know, okay, let's just run it. Let's see what it does. <laughs> what in the heck? Bypass document checks. No more manuals, code wheels, or key diskettes. Yeah, this is just straight up getting around copy protection. Fantastic. $90 plus $6 shipping and handling. Okay. There's a business version for business software, $180. I'm wondering if this is actually the program. It's just like an ad for the program. You may only use it on software you've purchased. Uh-huh. Okay. Do I agree to obey these conditions? I agree to obey. Does not provide BBS things. Okay, whatever. Anybody's used this before, let me know. I did not know this was a thing, and it's amazing, especially the fact that it came on a CD like this. Oh dear. Wow. <laughs> so what is it, okay, LHX for instance is one. Uh, I, I don't know if that's on. That's not. I don't know if I have any games on here that haven't already been cracked. <laughs> I usually just do it myself. Well, this is, uh... This is nuts, honestly. I, I This is really cool. Garfield Deluxe Edition and Garfield 88. Okay. This is one of the most intriguing things I've run across in a long time. And yeah, the rest of this is like Doom Editors, mostly. Something called Shankenstein. <laughs> A collection of six new episodes. Good grief! For registered Wolfenstein 3D users. Huh. Yeah, all kinds of maps. Some hint hint thingies. Map editors. This is really cool. Dude. Again, uh, I'm impressed by this collection of... Uh, of things. Look at all the puzzles. Amazing! Look at Oxid. Dude, what? I never, never played this on a PC. I'm only familiar with the, like the Mac. <laughs> well, there you go. Look at that. Left mouse button starts game. F3 restarts. Five is quality sound. Oh. Whoa, sound blaster. There we go. Hmm. There's a green. Yay! So I'm assuming since we have two mouse buttons, uh oh, well. Because, yeah, on a Mac you press like the tab or something to. Yeah, do that. Anyway. There's the blue. Yeah, so it is right mouse button. Okay. Whoops. Anyway, 
Let's see what's under Sims. We got uh, good old Corn Com 3D. We got Desert Raid. Good Sandstorm. Rocket Fighter. I'm not familiar with that one. Familiar with all the other ones. Here we go. There's the air traffic, air traffic control thing that I was uh, thinking of earlier when we saw it under the windows. Well, it said back commander file name, but it's still working. Oh, or not. <laughs> well, anyway, there is a DOS version of air traffic controller. Um, good old Corn Com. Covered that before. Let's do Sandstorm. I haven't played that in a while. Yeah. I always like the, the VGA-ness of this game. It's got that kind of mixture of high res and low res going on. It's just Missile Command, but, you know. <laughs> I, I don't remember which... There was some weird little shareware company where I uh, first discovered this. And just like, oh, hey, MVP software. Oh, hey, it's Missile Command. Oh, hey, this is kind of an annoying game to play. All right, let's just quickly look through the rest of uh, what's in here. So, sports. Ah, Buick Dimensions? Man, they are just taking whatever the heck and sticking it on here. You normally have to get that through GM. <laughs> I mean, I've got that... Like a physical copy of that. It's another thing I've been meaning to do. Uh, let's see what's under strategy. Ant Run, Alpha Man, dude. Again, just like all time uh, classics and heavy quotes. <laughs> Bolo Ball, Bolo Adventures, Bolo Box. You gotta have all. I'm sure pretty much everything from Solo Software is in here somewhere, right? Helios, of course. That's a great sound effect there. Super Brain 8. What in the heck? Columns VGA, like Sega's Columns. Look at all the word games. Okay, the definition of shareware. Also known as the covering our butts section of the CD. And then Elf Tree, let's see what that is. Because we saw that uh, folder on the CD earlier. Ah, okay. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a Norton Commander-esque thing, but it looks uh, a lot worse. I don't know, maybe it's good. At least it's, I guess, a freebie. Which, uh, Norton Commander was not, even though, like, everybody shared it back in the day, so... And lastly, we have just other... I don't know. Randomness. Oh, oh, oh look at this! <laughs> All of the fantastic artwork that is on all of their other discs. <laughs> so everything is heaven with these guys. Look at all these things. Look at, if you, if you had any of these back in the day, or do now, let me know. Font heaven, clip art heaven, cookbook heaven, the heck? I call this one is not heaven at all. It's just educational software cooperative. <laughs> Nothing heaven about, heaven about that, although there is learning heaven. Hmm. I guess that's different. Straight from heaven. <laughs> heaven, heaven, heaven. <laughs> sure, man. Whatever. All right. So there's a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, this is cool. Do I know you? No. Nope. Well, that's it for uh, that is it for this video. Let's see the options menu if there's anything special or, in, or surprising in here. Ah, it's just turning the sound on or off. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Adventures in Heaven 2. Y'all come back now. Somebody seriously needs to sample that into a song. I think I'm going to do that now. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'm not going to